Hello everybody, Tom here on Joy and Route. Thanks for joining me on the channel today. Um, we share, uh, before I get to that, I am here at the Turtle River State Park in North Dakota. It's just a little bit to the west of the Grand Forks Air Force Base. Go Air Force! Um, and uh, what I wanted to talk to you about today is insects, right? So, like, we share this planet with a lot of different creatures. And uh, many of them have wings and they fly around and they get in our face and they annoy us, right? Uh, and, you know, if you're in campgrounds a lot of the time uh, or out in nature, you're probably going to run into quite a few of them. Not the least of which, of course, being mosquitoes. Uh, one thing that I did note uh, upon arriving here at this park is that um, there were some uh, informational signs saying that every Thursday they fog for uh, mosquitoes uh, and uh, advise you to just uh, stay in your in your campers until <laughs> the fog dissipates a little bit. Uh, I won't be here for a Thursday. Uh, but um, I will say it seems to be somewhat effective in that I haven't seen any mosquitoes yet. But anyway, um, that notwithstanding, and uh, in a lot of places you're going to run into things. The last park I was at, uh, Buffalo River State Park, uh, just on the other side of the state line over in Minnesota, had just tons of flies. It was like, oh my god. Um, I don't know what it is that was attracting them. Uh, but it did remind me that uh, even here in North Dakota, um, flies are just a thing. So you have to deal with them. Um, so enjoy. Um, you know, a lot of times I like to have the doors open to get fresh air. And um, in season, what is my solution to deal with the abundance of flying insects, mosquitoes, gnats, uh, flies, um, all manner of weird creatures that, uh, that fly in the door and uh, just want to hang out. Uh, well, I have several um, different um, things that I use, and one of them is brand new, uh, so I'd like to show that to you. But um, Maybe the, I don't know if it's the most effective, we'll, we'll find out long term, but um, one that has worked quite well for me has just been plain old citronella, right? I mean, we've all heard of that. Mosquitoes don't like the scent, flies don't like the scent, so they kind of stay away from it. Now, is it 100% effective? No, not really. Um, I still get flies and uh, mosquitoes and whatnot in joy, and I have to deal with them. But uh, uh, I have just a few of my citronella products here uh, to uh, show to you. Probably the first is one of the most uh, ubiquitous of all of the citronella candles. And I only use candles. I don't use sprays. I don't, I don't like to put stuff on my body. I don't want that at all. I'm not adverse to the scent of cit citronella. I know that some people are, and they just really don't like that scent at all. Um, if you are a little adverse to citronella, the scent of citronella, you might enjoy these Coleman uh, citronella candles. This one has a s'mores scent. How cool is that? Um, and, in fact, uh, you know, it, it's, it, it, it smells more uh, like s'mores when the candle's actually lit than it does right now, but it actually does smell like s'mores. It's actually kind of a yummy uh, scent. There are several different scents that uh, Coleman puts out in their citronella candles. Uh, the one that you find at Walmart uh, tends to be th the one and only and probably the most common one, and that's the pine scent. And it's like, well, okay, we're outdoors all the time, so... Um, <laughs> there's nothing new about a pine scent, right? But <laughs> um, s'mores? Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, so there's that. And I do like that. I, I should have brought a lighter and just gotten one going here. Well, I 
thought it was right there. Nope. That was stupid. It was in my pocket all along. I think of everything, but tend to forget about them. I like these candles uh, in that they have uh, kind of that wooden stick kind of wick that uh, seems to work very, very well and uh, puts out a nice flame. And um, yeah, so I like these a lot. And now, hopefully, while we're just sitting here, uh, we won't be annoyed by, you know, whatever flies around. Another one that I find really cool is uh, this citronella candle. It's also from Coleman. I'm reading on the back. You can It's frosted glass, so you can't necessarily read it. I don't know, maybe you can. But um, the cool thing about this one is that, um, and unfortunately this one not working so well. I'm not sure why. But um, it's supposed to, and I, it looks to me like the, like the wick is kind of messed up, so I don't know that it will ever work again, but um, it uh, changes colors. You light it, and it cycles through, you know, blue, green, yellow, red, whatever. That's kind of cool. Um, I don't know. So that's uh, number two uh, citronella product. Uh, my third citronella product, are these all Coleman? Yeah, they are. They're all Coleman. Um, find them in the camping uh, aisle at uh, Walmart, I guess. The thing I like about this particular one is, kind of cool, looks like a little lantern. You could hang it from something if you wanted, um, as you can with uh, this one as well. The um, square tins, I guess you just got to place somewhere. They're good as a, as a, can as a, as a tabletop. Um, Thing. But the nice thing about these uh, li little lantern-like ones is that uh, it's got a pretty deep candle. You can see it actually started up here and has I've burned it enough times to where we're all the way down here already. We're halfway done with this one. Uh, it gets a little hard to get in there with a lighter to light it up after a while. That may be what kills it more than anything else. There it goes. Yeah, so that's a clever little citronella candle. I wish I could show you this one changing colors, but for whatever reason, this one is messed up. So, you know, I don't know. Do you really need one that changes colors? Yeah, maybe not. It was a gimmick. It was, it was cute. That's the second one I've uh, purchased, and its color-changing thing is messed up. So probably won't be buying those again. But the square tin ones... And uh, these uh, little lantern-like ones I like a lot. They do make uh, uh, two and three wick uh, pails full of uh, citronella wax. And uh, that might be good too if you're, uh, you know, if you've got a larger area that you're trying to hit. So um, on to the one that I just found yesterday, and that is this one. Now, this is a plug-in device, and it emits a, uh, a blue light, uh, which attracts flies and mosquitoes and stuff like that. And uh, it uh, deals with them through a sticky material, and that's on this blue card. So you plug it in, and the, uh, the white or the clear, sort of semi-clear part here in the front is what glows blue. And then on this card, which is actually removable, so that you can put a different one on once this one gets full of bugs, there's one bug in there uh, that's uh, been unfortunate enough to have found it. Um, but that just clips into place there. And, it's, uh, and then you peel off the backing to expose the stickiness, and then a fly or a mosquito or some other flying insect will be attracted to the light and maybe land on the sticky part and then they're just stuck. And that's uh, how this deals with it. 
again brand new I just bought it yesterday so we'll just have to see this park not uh, really um, um, a, a big thing with uh, insects so far so we'll just have to see how that goes I have seen a few inse uh, flying insects around but none have really been attracted to this we'll have to see long term whether or not uh, it does a good job or so-so job and finally uh, my um, my big gun when it comes to dealing with flying insects is this monster. So yeah, this is a bug zapper, right? So it requires uh, electric power and it uh, generates um, a high voltage um, on its interior stuff here uh, and emits a blue light much like this one does uh, in the wavelengths that are most commonly attractive to flies and mosquitoes and whatnot and so i put this in the back of joy uh, on top of uh, my uh, my storage shelves and uh, just uh, let it sit there powered up and um, occasionally i'll hear a little zap zap and there goes another bug one thing you need to be a little mindful of is that if a uh, a bug of any size gets in there when that when you hear that zap it could potentially be followed by a rather nasty smell right because you're literally frying um, an insect but um, it's worked pretty well I will give it that and with my new max air fan on top of joy I just go ahead and let uh, and set it to exhaust and this is be, and, and the max air fan is between this thing and me typically so if there are any nasty smells they're probably going to get sucked right back out of the van so that works pretty well i don't know how much power this thing consumes it, it doesn't uh, have any sort of a label on it that would tell me i don't even know f-v-o-a-i I, I wouldn't even know how to pronounce that. I think somebody needed to buy a vowel for in between the F and the V in order to make it pronounceable. But um, yeah, so I don't know really how much power it consumes, but I don't think it's that much. And usually I'm using it when I'm plugged into uh, shore power at a, at a campsite anyway. Um, but yeah, those are kind of the ways that I deal with insects. Tell me in the comments what you guys do to uh, uh, keep the insects away. I'm the kind of guy who doesn't like things that um, smell bad or that I need to put on myself. I, th that just makes me feel icky. I don't want to be, you know, a big uh, bug repellent thing walking around. Um, no, not going to do that. These, I don't mind the scent of cit uh, citronella. So uh, I, I guess I'm good to go with that. And even if I hated it, again, the scent of s'mores. Mm, yeah, <laughs> it's good. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know again uh, how you uh, are dealing with insects in your world. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Just before closing, I do want to point out, because I, I know I'll get asked if I don't put this in the video, I do have a pair of bug screens that can be magnetically attached to the door openings, both the slider door and the rear cargo area of Joy, but I don't use them. Um, it's not that they're horrible or anything, it's just that they are well they're magnetic they they fit fairly well not perfect but the other thing is is that i can't close the doors with these on and you know i think one of the things about these types of products is that once you get into the cool part of the day the that's when the insects are really getting active uh, but also the sun is going down and at some point you're going to need to take these off of the door so that you can You know get ready to to go to sleep and whatnot 
but at that point you've got a whole bunch of bugs hanging around because you know they sense that you're in there and uh, maybe they see some light coming through the through the doors or whatever and so they've kind of gathered on the screen and now you have to take that screen off and you're going to be setting you know a bunch of insects in motion uh, while you're taking them off and where are they all going to go I, I don't know probably right into the van um, that said a lot of people swear by these so I'm not you know poo-pooing them and many are getting the kind of screens that go underneath like the door seals uh, one of the most uh, popular products in that space I believe is uh, by a company called Bugwall, or the product is called Bugwall, and um, uh, so they kind of go underneath the door seal, and um, then the door seal gets put back on, and so they're kind of captured by the door seal, and uh, they've got nice zippers so that you can open them, or magnetic uh, closures, that kind of thing, and um, that way you can close the door, and that would be better uh, but I don't think that, uh, for me, in the back of uh, Joy, there's a good way to deal with this situation and the uh, bug wall. So, I just haven't gone there. But yeah, so um, these are available through Embassy uh, when, you, when you get your van. So, um, uh, if I guess if I were in a, a desperate situation <laughs> and absolutely needed the... Uh, stop the bugs from coming in. I do have something that I could use along those lines. Also, I forgot to mention that I have some of these, although I have not used them yet. I'm actually a little f afraid of them.